I met a gypsy. So I, like I said, I've been trying to get better at riding and I've been enjoying the process. I did my first ever 30 minute moto the other day. And uh, I I got one of those. I don't know if you've ever seen them. <laughs> yeah, you're like ah oh, sucker. <laughs> um, I don't know if you've ever seen those um, my pitboard pro things. That they're, they're not a yeah. sponsor for anyone. This is not this is not a plug. But so I got one of those given to me um, by Joel Evans, who's the he's an Aussie pro here. He brings him into the country, and um, I got. 96 CR 250 baby and I put that fucker on that that was the only bike in my shed that was running <laughs> so so I just filled that son of a bitch up with uh with a full tank of gas and uh the front brakes don't work that good the rear brakes don't work that good suspension don't work that good but I just put put that bar pad on and uh I sort of know my lap time around this one track like I think pretty like a good if I'm in a ride, not trying to throw down a heater, like a 142 is a, just yeah. a pretty good time on like on my 350. And then so I okay. got on this bike and I was like, all right, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try and just do like 144s, like two seconds a lap off my 350 on a 96 Honda. Like I feel like that's acceptable. Just gonna put my bar pad on. I'm gonna go for 30 minutes and I'm just gonna try and be around the 144 mark. And then if I can't mm -hmm. be around that mark. Then I'm gonna be around the one fucking whatever I need to be to just get this 30 minute moto done, and uh, man, I just like went out and I just clocked my laps and I just did my shit. I stalled a couple times because the rear brake lever's bent and like it catches on your boot sometimes, like you can't get off it. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> but man, I like I I like did that 30 minute moto, and I don't know why, but it just felt like such a gnarly accomplishment. I've never even really tried to do one before. Um, but yeah, I kind of, I, I kind of had not, not necessarily like that quote in mind, but I was just like, I'm just going to do it for 30 minutes. Like 30 minutes is going to go by whether I'm doing a moto or not. <laughs> like those th mm -hmm. if I start a stopwatch now, like 30 minutes will happen. And, uh, yeah. and then, yeah, I just went out and did it. Yeah. It's like that 30 minutes you went out, but you'll remember it forever. Because you're like, I remember this day where I, I and you, you talk about it forever. Like you did that. And that's what's, yeah, that, that quote just can go any way, but it can go such a long way too. Yeah. And so with, uh, I guess the, the way that you've got to suffer, like, so it, I wanted to do it because I wanted to kind of have like a, a that level of respect for you guys and obviously like i've been riding forever but just the grind so and then i went and did a 20 after i got like my all the skin come off my palm so i couldn't really i was oh, getting a bit dude, sketchy I don't after know that if you can, i don't know if the camera yeah. can see this but it's disgusting it's yeah. it's gnarly and, huh yeah yeah i got the sound enough you can see but i had this little bad yeah, boy yeah. come in there yep. and <laughs> but um yeah like j just to know what almost like what you guys are up against every day and like the track that i rode wasn't super rough um and it's something i want to keep doing like i actually want to get good at doing 30s um but yeah like what's the i guess like what's the mindset to get through those motos like to go out there and and grind your way through the heat and 30s because i mean dude i noticed like i actually felt pretty good through the the first one like i kind of got into like a pretty good flow and just did my last mm -hmm. i ended up doing 142s as well so like my lap times are actually like not that bad um for, for me for me and uh but then the, the second one when i went out and did the 20 like i could just feel man like zero concentration like i just didn't feel sharp i felt like i didn't have arm pump i didn't physically i felt all right but like mentally i was just like super fucking fatigued so it was interesting to kind of like ride the waves of doing those like long motos um so yeah i guess what's it like for you guys to be doing them that often and that to be like your standard like every day you go to the track like you know you got those 230s to do they they definitely hurt i will tell you that um, yes, it is very mentally draining because you know what's coming. It's like when you go to the mm. doctor and you get a, you're, you're getting like a, a shot or something, you know that needle's coming and you know what's going to feel like. That's what it feels like yeah. for the motos. You're just like, ah, am I ready for this? Well, you gotta be because you don't have a choice. Like you're about to grind this out and 
yeah, the, the, the rest will take over. But with me, how I get through it is like, I, I know I'm willing to fight. So I don't really ever stress about me like physically. Um, but mentally it's like, I like to do my motos in like increments. So I don't, I don't want to see like, oh, you have 20 minutes left. I want to see like the amount of laps. I'd rather know like the amount of laps rather than the time. Um, <laughs> yeah. because then you can like separate it. Like, okay, I'm going to do like two lap sprint, one lap normal pace, you know? And you kind of just like, you kind of just try to distract your mind off the, the clock going down from 30 yeah. minutes. And when you distract yourself, you tend to get things, they tend to f- feel like things go by faster. Um, yeah, that's, that's my biggest thing. I just think about other things, honestly, when I'm racing. So like, w- huh. what, what kind of stuff are you thinking about? Dude, honestly, there's, it, it could be anything. I could think about what I want for dinner that night. I don't know why, but like, it's just like, yeah, you're doing it. And it's just like, man, I can't wait to get off this track, take a drink of water. But yeah, you're in a mid battle. Like that's just, it's kind of like, it just comes second nature. Um, but yeah, it's all on how you approach it. And I try to distract my mind on something else a little bit to like let things go by faster, even though it's not going by faster, but you think it is. Um, so yeah, like for me, I'll think about anything during moto, but I just, I try to do a little bit of like, not math, but I'm like, okay, if I'm running like a, a two fifteen, and I got 10 laps left or whatever, you just multiply that and you're like, okay, like we got this amount of time left. And once you start thinking about that stuff, it kind of just like happens. I don't know. It's hard to explain. It's just, yeah. I don't ever this look at the clock ticking because if you watch a clock ticking, it goes by forever. Yeah, that's what I noticed uh, when I was doing the second one. The first one was like the 30 was sweet. Uh, There was like a couple times where I like looked at it and because I stalled it, I like looked down to see where I was at. Um, And well, so originally I was planning on doing 220s because we got a race coming up in a few weeks and it's like a gnarly sand Mm -hmm. track. I think it's only like 12 minute motos, um, but the it's so fucking rough like even the the lines where you cut the track because it's too rough get rough <laughs> so so i was just like all right i'm gonna do 20s <laughs> awesome. and i'm just gonna like i'm gonna chuck on an extra eight on top of this bitch to try and compensate and then i'd like got to 20 and i was like I, I reckon i could try and do 25 and then i sort of just played that game to to run it up to 30 and then i was like i'd just love to like tick one of these off um but the second one that I did where I knew I was only going to be able to do a 20, man, I just looked at the clock. I feel like 11 minutes took 15 minutes. Like the, uh, no, like, so from when it hit 11 minutes and zero seconds to 11 minutes and 59 seconds, that felt like a 15 minute window. That one minute felt like 15. I was like, what the fuck is up with 11 minutes right now? And, uh, but I just, yeah, I couldn't, I could not distract myself from it. Yeah, no, I, I know that exact pain. Uh, so at the house, we have a, a skierge where like yeah. you have like two strings and you like, you, yeah. know, you like the ski motion. <sighs> Dude, let me tell you what. I hate that machine. I know it, it's really good for you, but I hate it. And having that little monitor tell you like what your pace is and the time and what you got to get to. Oh, God, I... I I have to like not look at the monitor. I'll just listen to music, like have my AirPods in and I'll listen to, I'll tell myself I'm going to listen to two whole songs and yeah. look at how much time I got left. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I'd rather, cause when you're just skiing and you look at the monitor, you're like, oh, it's only been 10 seconds or oh, it's only been like a minute. You're like, man, I feel like I've been here forever. And then when, when you distract your mind and you just start like listening to music or something, time goes by quicker i mean it's just it's kind of weird to think about but it's wild if you enjoyed this content please like and subscribe and to listen to the full three-hour podcast search gypsy tales in your favorite podcast platform or click the link in the description below gypsy gang